Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, I have an informative video slash sad video. As you guys can see, I did return two handbags from LV that were in my collection. Before we get into any more details, guys, please make sure you view my past videos. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have all that out the way, guys, I want to get straight into this video so you already know what to do. Go grab some wine, grab some tea, and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Your girl got the real tea, so now let's talk LV. As stated, this is going to be an informative video and an update. I am not, I am not speaking bad on any luxury brand. I'm only giving you real life updates on what happened to me if you do have this bag if it's working for you perfect but the two bags that i had maybe it was a defect i don't know but i did return both lv maxi multi pochette the puffer bags it did not work out for me i was so so devastated as you guys know i sent you guys videos i was on my instagram stories letting you guys know how excited i was about this upcoming collection and it did not work out for me so these two bags i did return i was so upset because i actually purchased these boots to go with the maxi multi pochette the khaki and the black as stated some things don't work out but i have to tell you what happened to me so if you do have the maxi multi pochette please let me know in the comments how it's working out for you did you experience this so the first time i experienced it you guys know i did show you a video and a picture as you can see i only have on one pochette because this is the day it actually happened when and i'm only using this guys for reference because i do not have the bags anymore i did return them i got my five thousand dollars back and purchase something else <laughs> but this is exactly how the maxi multi pochette this is how it looked it had a small pochette and a larger pochette the larger pochette was khaki and then the other one that was in the front was a cream color okay so it was the uh khaki and the cream color here in the front i love those colors those are my colors for fall i was so so excited as stated i had purchased these boots to go so when I put the maxi um, multi pochette on with the strap, I noticed every time I walk, the top pochette will flip up and it'll be just like this. And I'm like, what is what is going on? So I, I changed my outfit three times thinking it was, you know, the material that I had on my jeans. Then I had on some patent leather um, pants. I even tried tights, nylon tights, but every time I wore it, it still flipped up. And so I was like, okay, something is wrong. Let me try the fuchsia and the black. That's this one here. Try the fuchsia and the black. I put it on. I walk. It will flip up. The top one will flip up. And let me take the strap out so I can show you guys. So as you guys see, it came with a strap as well. And it will it, it would just kept it kept flipping up. So I was like, maybe I have too much in the larger pochette because in the larger pochette i had the mini the mini um the mini pochette i had a mini pochette i had my iphone 12 pro max in there and what else did i have and i think that was that was it and because in the front the smaller pochette i had a card holder and some cash so it wasn't a lot when i go to the gallery i don't bring a lot with me at all so it wasn't a lot in there but i was thinking maybe the larger pochette just had too much in there you know at that time and so i took out the items from my larger pochette guys the same thing happened it didn't even have a lot in there i will walk and it would just flip up and I was like, you know what? I can't deal with this. I am getting ready to go to the Galleria. So I took the smaller pochette off. In the front, I took the smaller pochette off. As you guys can see on this picture, that is why I did not have the, uh, the cream pochette on. It just was not, it wasn't working that day. It just wasn't working that day. 
So we went to the Galleria. I was shopping, going around, walking around, looking for items, showing you guys on my stories, my new products that I do have now and products that I was interested in. I noticed every time I will zip, it will get caught, it will get caught up. When we caught up, it wasn't an easy open and close with a zipper. It was not an easy open and close. And so I looked down. Once I looked down, guys, the threading by the zipper was already unraveling. First time wearing, it was already unraveling. I would say I unzipped, I say probably three times before leaving because I had to take things out so we can level out and balance. So it wouldn't flip up. I thought that was the issue. I had issues with the zipper. I had issues with the threading and I'm like, come on, it'll be like, what is the issue? I didn't have a lot inside, so I'm not sure what was going on. So I was like, okay, maybe it's the strap. Maybe I was trying to make up every excuse, guys. I was like, the chain strap, it's, it's something going on. Something is going on. And so I said, okay, maybe this bag is a defective bag because the threading was unraveling too fast it was unraveling too fast i was like no i'm not gonna sit up and deal with this i'm going to return get my money back so let me try the black and the fuchsia guys it was worse it was worse i could hardly even unzip i couldn't have both pochettes on at the same time and unzip at all it will either flip up or it'll slide up It'll slide up. And I, for the longest, guys, I thought it was something that I had on. It was not. I kept changing outfits. So if you have the LV Puffer, the LV Maxi Multi Pochette, the Puffer, please let me know in the comments, did you deal with this? Because I was so excited. Like I said, these boots went perfect. I had the whole outfit in my head. I showed you guys everything I wanted. I still want the khaki and cream. I was in love with it. The black and fuchsia pink, I was okay with letting go. I was, but that the khaki and the cream, I really, really wanted to have that in my collection. The only reason I wanted probably to keep the black and fuchsia is because of the strap. Because as you guys can see, I changed and added the black strap. I added the black strap because I wanted it to go with my boots better since I took the cream pochette off. But guys, let me know in the comments because I am so serious. I still want that bag. But the the issues with the thread, I need for LV to work on quality control. Before shipping these items out, it's like they're so quick to make them and get them out to make a sale. This, that is a part of business. Quality is every is everything to me. Quality is everything to me. And not to compare, as you guys know, I did step out and purchase a bag from YMCL. And when I say top-notch quality, amazing. Amazing quality. And when I say I checked threading, I checked under the bags, even now, since I've purchased, since I did the unboxing, it's like I'm waiting for something to happen. <laughs> I'm waiting for something to happen because I just could not believe how perfect the quality soft quality that I received. I mean, the flexibility in these bags, the structure, the structure of the bags are top notch and perfect. And I just feel like we invest so much money, especially me, I invest so much money into LV. Please send me quality products. Please, please give me quality products. And so when I say I only unzipped three times, open and close, open and close guys. That's it. The threading by the zipper was unraveling. I feel like that was just like a quick, a quick made collection to get out there and make money. I'm just, I'm just very, very upset with it. Very, very upset. Um, and I was, like I said, I was so sad. I was, I'm even sad to make this video because you guys, I've never really, really had an issue. I hear about the quality issues with the glazing, everything. I hear about it. Um, in the LV world about LV and the quality, but I've never experienced it like I experienced it with the Maxi Multi Pochette. And I was so hurt, so bothered. And so, like I said, it's just so hard for me to even do this video, but I wanted to send an update. 
I have to be truthful. I have to be truthful because if anything happened to any of my Dior bags, my Fendi, my YSL, believe me, I'm going to do an update. I am going to let the people know. I am going to let the people know. And for me, I was devastated. But as you guys see, I, I am still rocking these boots. These boots are beautiful. Just because I took that Maxi Taco shit back doesn't mean I was going to take these back. Because I have rocked these already with other items, other handbags. I have posted. I rocked it with my Palm Springs Mini, and it was gorgeous. I can rock it with this more type of shit as well. Khaki strap. And it looks beautiful together if I do. I'm not sure why I'm stuck on that maxi more type of shit, but guys, I was so excited. Got even the threading. Even the threading around the bottom. And when I tell you guys, I had it in a dust bag until I wore it out and the threading was already coming to loose. Already coming loose. So guys, if you have an update, did you return? Did you keep it? How is it working for you? Like I said, I really, really want to know if you guys can let me know in the comments. Oh my gosh, I think I would feel a lot better if I do see the bag in the boutique or if I reach out to my CA to see if I really, really want to order this bag again or if I just just need to move on and guys it's not an everyday bag i did tell you guys it's not an everyday bag but it's just something about the maximum type of shit i fell in love with and i really want it in my collection but if it doesn't work out um it doesn't work out but i did return both i wanted my five thousand dollars bag i did invest that's when i purchased the loot bag and um i purchased the sack plaque peel so that took the place of both of the maxi more type of sheds so guys please let me know in the comments if you have the bag and if you didn't purchase the bag why didn't you purchase the bag i really want to know it's like i was warned some of you guys told me hey do not purchase the bag do not purchase the bag do not purchase the bag and guess what marquita went and purchased two bags not one i purchased two bags so guys as stated let me know in the comments i am not bashing lv you guys know that is my favorite favorite luxury handbag brand i love lv but i'm big on quality so i'm not bashing one but i did want to provide an update just in case anyone else had that issue and they have not been able to voice their opinion and their experience but i am I'm spending my money. I'm going to let the people know. So, as stated, let me know in the comments. Please, please, please share your experience and let me know why you did not purchase the Maxi More Typo shit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and for listening to me vent. I am still so, so very hurt. If you have any questions, guys, please feel free to leave them in the comments as well. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time, happy holidays. Bye-bye.